All right, guys. So, just finally got in my package. Uh, I got some gloves here. Picked up some turtles. Look at them. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. What's going on, guys? This is Joey. I'm coming at you another video today. So uh, finally, I'm back from my vacation and. After seeing, you know, some of the stuff uh, overseas, I was kind of inspired to try uh, some new aquascape. I haven't done aquascaping in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just redo this tank slightly. I'm gonna pull some of the plants, um, remove some of these rocks here, and uh, reposition it for some new livestock for this tank. I'm gonna consolidate all these little fries into one tank because I have like at least three tanks, with, or four tanks, I'm sorry. Of a bunch of sword tail fries and I really need to consolidate them they don't need to be in like multiple tanks I'm gonna try to do like you know small medium and then somewhat large and uh, we'll kind of go from there so right now what I'm doing here is uh, I'm soaking some uh, rocks in just boiling hot water with some uh, hydrogen peroxide to kind of just kill anything that's on the rock that's been sitting outside in the garage for a while but uh, doing that I'm gonna go ahead and net uh, a majority of these fish out and actually put them into their own different tanks and I'll pull some of these rocks and then go ahead and pull some of these plants and kind of reposition some of the soil and maybe remove some of the soil depending on what I want to do here I'm not a hundred percent sure yet but definitely it's going to get some new livestock all right so I removed all the fish in the tank uh, they're in their own little tank now so I'm going to go ahead and start tearing down this uh, aquarium I think there's one more fish I'm going to go ahead and remove them but Let's go ahead and start picking out some of these rocks. Alright, so it's time for the aquascape. I'm going to go ahead and start scaping here. Um, still kind of going to do this a little bit of freestyle. I got a bunch of uh, piles of rock here. I'm going to kind of shimmy this across here and figure out where I want to move stuff. Got a couple plants in here. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I'm not too worried about the algae on the side. I kind of want to have a little bit of algae on the side walls. Um, but Let's see here. So let's start aquascaping. I'll be dreaming. I'll be dreaming. I'll be dreaming. I'll be dreaming. <laughs> So once this is filled, I'm going to go ahead and plant the plant and turn on the filter and let it recycle. I like to do a mini cycle because it's going to probably do a mini cycle anyways. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. Hey puppies. I haven't seen them in a while, huh? Look at that shadow. All right, guys. So just finally got in my package. Uh, I got some gloves here. Picked up some turtles. Look at them. They're so cute. Oh, my goodness. They're so cute. All right, so I'm just giving them some water here. They've been in, you know, the box for about a day overnight shipping. 
So I'm going to go ahead and give them some basking time here and uh, make sure that they get their sunlight in before I put them into the aquarium. They're really tiny. These are like pretty much, I think, six month old. I'm going to put them up here for a little bit, give them some basking time. These are uh, three striped uh, mud turtles, They're aquatic turtles. They're super tiny. One of the smaller ones um, in terms of uh, aquatic turtles. You only get about like four or five inches tops and I bought like a male and a female. Both of them look really cute. Look at them, so cute. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them sit here for a little bit and go get a top real quick so that uh, they don't get eaten. All right guys, and here's the tank after a few days. You guys haven't seen this since the skate part here, I did end up changing a few things just because the turtles would kind of get under um, some of the rocks and I didn't want them to get stuck. So I kind of removed some of the rocks uh, here and there, giving them enough gaps to kind of go in between the rocks um, as they please. All right, to start off, I upgraded the filter for this tank. I went with an Eheim uh, 150 Classic. And this is the exact same filter I used for my Mini S. It's definitely really strong, uh, enough flow. I actually ended up having to aim the flow towards the wall just because uh, the turtles are still kind of small they're not really strong enough uh, for some of the current so I went ahead and aimed it towards the wall and then when they get a little bit older and bigger I will re-aim it towards kind of the other side to kind of push um, a lot of the material and debris you know um, across the actual tank so right now this tank is probably going to be the grow tank these species of turtles actually do not grow as big as some of the other turtles uh, so actually they can live in a 20 gallon, which this is like an 18 gallon, pretty pretty close uh, for the rest of the life. But I kind of want to upgrade eventually down the road to kind of maybe a 33 gallon long, kind of similar to my other tank, or a 40 gallon or something similar, where it's a little bit longer so they can kind of have more area to swim. And maybe I can build like a, a bigger uh, basking area for the turtles. So let's quickly jump to this side. So I built a little ramp off of rocks here and uh, put a basking uh, lamp uh, over it with also a, a UV A and B light. It's kind of a dual lamp there uh, built by Zoomed. So it's a very nice area for them to bask. There's multiple entries for them to get up uh, to this area here and I'll show you in a little bit. So for the first entry they can kind of come here. I have gloves on right now because I'm going to try to handle them. I want to handle them as least as possible and also obviously if you handle turtles you got to wash your hands. And this is an easy way around it. If you have a bunch of these just plastic uh, gloves, it's easy to handle them and you just take them off. You don't have to really wash your hands. But um, pretty much uh, the ramp here, you can come up here, come up there and kind of bask. The other side is from this side here. Um, it's gonna be a little bit hard for them to kind of climb up here, but normally the water level is a little bit higher where they can kind of climb up here. And finally, the last part is back here. Uh, I noticed that turtles kind of like to go under the rock and kind of back here. So I made a little opening over here. So then kind of get up here into this little rock over here and kind of just bask a little bit. And with the, this is a, the UV light under here, the basking lights on this side to so more of that area. Uh, but yeah, so they can kind of just do whatever they want with that. All right, so the turtles have been here in here probably for about two days. Uh, one of them has been eating, the other one really hasn't. Um, or at least I haven't seen that turtle eat. Um, so there's a the turtle. Both of them are just kind of chilling there. Let me kind of just put this down so that. They really like that area right there just because, okay, well that one's gonna run away. They, they're they still kind of shy and skittish. Um, but this little guy here, I'm gonna pick him up. And there he is right there. Look how tiny he is. Oops. It's peeing or pooping. It's scared. It's okay, little guy. I'm gonna put him back down. The other one's uh, <laughs> in the back there, so uh, we'll let <laughs> we'll let that turtle do do its thing back there because it's scared. So, anyways, I'm gonna put this back here. All right, so on top of it, I got some ghost shrimps for the turtles to kind of munch on if they get hungry. There's probably maybe like two dozens or so ghost shrimps, varying from sizes here. They kind of just eat the remainder of the food that kind of just falls um, on the floor. As you can see there, there's a turtle right there hiding right under this rock here. 
Um, the actual water line is like right here so that they can kind of pop their head under there, breathe, come back down and just kind of chill in that little area there. And they really like that area. And that's why I kind of like opened it up a little bit in the back before my scape. I kind of like stacked it back there. And I figured, you know, if they get back there and they want to kind of explore back there, they won't get stuck. So I opened up a couple of the rocks in the back so that they can kind of go in and out um, through the front and the back, like I mentioned. And in the back here, the other turtle, he's in the heater, in the back of the heater here. I'm gonna see him try to get him. Can't really get him, but he's behind this heater, still exploring. I actually bought a male and a female, so I actually don't know which one's which. Um, and I probably need to figure out which one's who, and then also probably try to name them uh, eventually. But right now, I'm just trying to get them to eat. I know one of them is eating really well, already ate pellets, ate fish flakes and also ate blood worms, like dried blood worms, like no problem. The other one though, I didn't really see um, it eat anything, so uh, we'll give it uh, probably a couple more uh, tries tomorrow to see if um, that one wants to eat. Also, one of them is really shy, as you can see, like the one that kind of darted in the back um, when I kind of opened up that rock there. And the other one's kind of curious where it'll come up and kind of see like, okay, you know, what do you have? I'm going to check you out. So maybe it's just more of like, uh, it's scared and it's not really, you know, ready to kind of come out and eat yet. Like I said, there's a lot of like food source in terms of plants they can eat. They can eat shrimps. I'm actually feeding the, the ghost shrimps flakes. And if, you know, the shrimps don't finish everything, maybe the turtles will get a chance to kind of eat. So yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, this is actually my very first time keeping turtles. Um, I actually was really inspired uh, when I was over in Japan. I saw a couple turtle tanks, aquatic turtle tanks, you know, smaller and I was really inspired um, to kind of just start one. I've always wanted to keep turtles. Didn't really know how to start, uh, where and what, and then kind of did a bunch of research when I was on kind of vacation and then kind of coming back from vacation and decided to pull the trigger and kind of get turtles. So I'm super excited. So yeah, so this is gonna be my grow out turtle tank for these little guys. As you can, start, as you can see, like they're super tiny. They're even smaller than some of these smaller rocks. So they have plenty of room to grow in this tank. Uh, eventually, once they kind of grow a little bit bigger, I'm going to probably remove a lot of the substrate, maybe pull it all the way down to maybe only like an inch and a half, have the plants still maybe for them, and then kind of uh, have a little bit more area for them to swim in. Oh, there he is. Quick shot of the little turtle before we say bye. Super shy little turtle, super cute. Look at him, just, just chilling back there. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoy this week's update. Um, I'm really excited to share this with you guys. It's going to be a learning adventure for me and also for anyone that's kind of interested in trying to keep some turtles and trying to figure out, you know, how to do it. I'm still learning, so maybe I'll do a, um, a quick rundown of like, you know, what I had to buy and whatnot in the future videos. And until next time guys, peace.